Hey guys, this is Jason Grimm with a quick video uh, on using the EC2 uh, tools and API with um, Cisco Metapod. First, we're going to uh, start by logging into the, the web UI. And where we're going to go is uh, navigate to the project context, access and security, uh, API access, and then we're going to download our EC2 credentials file. Um, I've already done that over here and uh, unzipped it into a folder called EC2. Um, the curl token SH uh, I created for a shortcut just for, to check uh, curl connectivity. Um, but basically what, what this is, if you look at the, uh, the, the shell script uh, here or RC file, <clears throat> it just sets up your um, EC2 uh, variables and, and keys and things like that so that you can uh, quickly run the commands without uh, having to uh, type in all of the, the OS uh, tenant names and things like that each time. So if you want, uh, what I generally do is uh, in your RC file on your login, it, you can just source the, uh, the OpenRC one is the native OpenStack API cred file and then the Second one is the uh, EC2RC uh, file that I just downloaded. Now, just to make sure that API connectivity is working, um, I go ahead and connect uh, to the using curl uh, straight to the API to make sure that the token and all that stuff is running. Or, or I mean, uh, or my credentials are all working and and I'm getting good data back out of the API. Um, once that's done, I generally uh, install the the Yuka two tool set. Um, and that's just basically a, a Python a CLI wrapper uh, for the API. It's just a lot um, easier using that if you're just doing some quick, um, you know, command line testing of the of the API. Uh, you know, but on your on your platform, uh, you could just do an app cache uh, search or a yum search for uh, Yuka. And uh, well, if I can well, I need to do that and see. So there's the uh, Yuka 2 tool set, uh, created and still maintained, I believe, by the Eucalyptus uh, team. But it was just a very uh, early on uh, Python CLI wrapper for the API. Um, so it was one of those things that was just adopted and uh, still used today. So um, if you look at the tools, and uh, for just we can just do things like describe instances. Now, assuming you you just installed it. Um, and you haven't sourced your, your bash RC again, you're going to want to source the uh, the Yuka credentials, or sorry, the EC2 credentials. Um, so that done, you can see some of the stuff that I put in your environment file or your environment settings. So uh, you could describe um, instances. So this is the uh, standard app out, uh, output. It's the equivalent of running like Nova, li Nova list against the, uh, the native uh, API. Um, so as a test, uh, just to make sure we've got kind of CRUD capabilities, let's go over here and for this project I'm connected to, uh, let's look at volumes. Now we've got one volume sitting out there. And if I do a... Uh, you can describe volumes. Okay, I do see one, uh, I do see that 10 gig volume out there. So let's do, I've already got it in the history here. Let's create a new volume. So one gig volume and the default uh, zone or region of Nova. And what we should see over here, if we catch it in time, is that volume is uh, created, and uh, we can attach it to a, um, a system, and and uh, you know use it just like we would any other volume that was created through the web UI or the native uh, uh, OpenStack API. So uh, now that we see that, that volume's there, let's just go ahead and delete it. Um, just 
to make sure we have that capability. And that's the one gig one I just created. Uh, before we delete that, let's just make sure that, and I know we're going to see it, but just make sure we, we, we do see it there and then uh, the ID is the same. So uh, now let's go ahead and delete it. Um, and I've already got that there. So we should now see again if we catch this in time showing deleting. That's already gone from here. Um, and if we list uh, the volumes again here, we'll see that it's gone. So that's the, the quick uh, drive-by version of the EC2 tools. Um, to recap, uh, download your RC file from the web UI, uh, source that file, um, make sure that a curl command is working. Uh, if you want, uh, uh, optionally download the Yuka2 toolset um, to give you that Python wrapper. Um, and then source your, your file and uh, start running some commands against the uh, EC2 APIs. Um, thank you. I hope this was helpful. See you guys later.